Hey guys, welcome to another Stubbs Effects tutorial. Today we're gonna do digital blood splatter. Dude. So why don't we just get some ingredients, make our own blood, and shoot it through a pump on the wall. I have a house that my mom doesn't want me to mess up. So I prefer using digital blood indoors. Your parents will thank me for this too. Basically the only thing that you need for this is a wall. Something that looks like that. Now one tip for this is try to keep your camera as still as possible because if your camera is moving around then you're going to have to track the blood onto the wall wherever your camera moves. So now all you got to do is film your shot. Dude. Okay guys, so uh, first thing that you have to do is download something called GIMP. And you go download, and it, it may be under this screen right here, but it says download GIMP 2.66. You just click that, you can download it, set it up. Once you have it installed, you want to go into Windows Movie Maker. And import your video of uh, somebody getting shot. And you just need the first few frames right when his head hits the wall <coughs> up until he's out of the scene. So right here. So we have our shot and we want separate images of this. So first thing that we do is go to the first scene, first frame right here. Go tools, take picture from preview. And we'll name it one. Alright, now go to the next frame, and we will name this one 2, and go to the next frame, and do this all the way through. So now we have all the frames here, and what we're going to do is exit Windows Movie Maker. Alright, next thing we do is open up our recently downloaded GIMP. It may take a while to load up. It may seem like it's frozen, but it's not. Okay, first thing you want to do is open. And what you want to do is go to the blood splatter that I provide you in the link in the description. And you can open that up. So I'm going to use this blood splatter right here. And then go, you need to do these one at a time or else uh, GIMP might crash. So you go file, open, and find your first frame. So you, it should be named one. So here we go. You got your frame and this blood. Now in this blood, you want to use the rectangle select tool. You want to click and drag over the blood. And then control C for copy. You can exit that. Don't save it. Okay, this is important now. You have to go to layer, new layer before you do anything. So you're going to click the new layer and control V over your photo. And now you've just pasted the blood onto a new layer. Now this is where you could size it down a little. Take a look here. Using this size tool, scale that. You can well, you can move it where the blood is going to be. We can uh, make the make it a little darker. So go to brightness. Maybe bring the brightness a little down. Now we select the rectangle select tool and just click anywhere on your image, and that'll paste it down to the new layer. Now you see new layer has that blood splatter. We're gonna select this whole frame using the rectangle select tool. Try to get it as close as possible and control C for copy. Now this is where something else comes in. You have to bring your opacity down a little bit just so you can see what you're doing from the new layer. Bring the opacity down. Now go to free select tool. It'll kind of look like a lasso. You click that. First select your new layer and holding shift just sort of delete the parts that are on your face. And So there you go, we just 
all we did is outline it and click delete on your keyboard but also we don't want it already spread out that far so we're gonna take a little bit take the elastic select tool again and select a little bit of the outside and just click delete again so it's going to kind of spread out you're going to find out where all the shadows are so right here here's one outline all the shadows and you're going to go color brightness and just bring that brightness down do the same for all the shadows so now the next shadow would be all right here and just bring the brightness down so now if we turn this back up we got kinda got this the shadows darker than the normal blood alright so now we're gonna go file save and go export quality 90 whatever 100 doesn't matter exit this picture open up number two and we're gonna do the same thing so open and you gotta find two so now if you go control paste control control V it should be in the exact same spot because we outlined the whole frame when we were selecting it so don't move it from here we're just going to paste it down onto a new layer I forgot so delete that so first thing you're gonna do on your new frame layer new layer and go transparency now selecting that new layer control V it should be in the exact same spot as before on the other frame so you don't have to move it this is because we took the rectangle select tool and outlined the whole frame so from here you paste it down and do what we did before and then maybe a little bit more we could delete from the outside okay guys so now I'm done doing all my frames it's tedious work but we're using Windows Movie Maker open up Windows Movie Maker again you can exit GIMP and from here if you look at your imported frames here you'll see that they have new blood splatters on it what you're going to want to do is select them all and just drag them into the timeline now this is the part where it can be a little annoying I don't know if you could still no you can't select them all and do an effect so you're gonna have to go to each frame in the timeline right click effects scroll all the way down and go speed up double and just do add as many as you can go ok and find that video that you just exported and just put it into the timeline and you have it as one full video still a little slow so we're going to go right click effects go down to speed up double or is it and just do it once so now there we go looks okay and all you gotta do is put it into your footage and add some sound effects and you're done dude where's the money? what money? give me it I know you have it what are you talking about man? I don't know what you're saying what money are you talking about? you know what I'm talking about I swear I'll shoot this just give me the money that's a nerf gun yeah, these things hurt. Okay, dude, you have a paper plate on your head and you're asking me for money. Just give me the gun. Okay, you really don't know where it is? No, I don't have it. Fine. Here you go. Thank you. Dude. Alright guys, that's it for today's episode. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, keep watching.